So here we have some examples of trapeziums. Now, how do we work out the area of a trapezium? Now, first of all, we need to understand what is a trapezium. What do we mean by a trapezium? Well, simply, a trapezium is any four-sided shape which only has one pair of parallel sides. So let's write this down. So only one pair of parallel sides. As you can see here, this shape here is a trapezium because it, it has four sides and only has one pair of parallel sides. Is this a trapezium? Yes, because it has one pair of parallel sides. And this one is a trapezium because it has one pair, only one pair of parallel sides. Now, what about this shape here? Is this a trapezium? Well, no, it is not a trapezium because it has two pairs of parallel sides. So let's just show the two pairs. That's one pair and that's another pair. So, because this has two pairs of parallel sides, this is not a trapezium, and this is actually a parallelogram. A, pa a parallelogram is a four-sided shape which has two pairs of parallel sides. To work out the area of a trapezium, all I need to do is I need to sum the parallel sides, I'm using arbitrary letters to represent two of the parallel sides and I need to multiply this sum by half of the height. Now let's illustrate this on a trapezium. Let's start off with this one. The parallel sides are these two sides and the height of this trapezium, what well, what we mean by height is the perpendicular distance from one of the parallel sides to the other. And by perpendicular we mean at 90 degrees. So this is the height. So here we just need to add the parallel sides, sum the parallel sides, and multiply the sum of the parallel sides by half of the height. Now let's illustrate this on this one. Here once again the parallel sides are these two so we would sum these two parallel sides and we need to multiply it by half of the height. What is the height here? Well the height is just the perpendicular distance from one of the parallel sides to the other. By perpendicular we mean it's at 90 degrees so the height is this distance there but it is also the same as the distance here. This is also the height. So we would just sum the parallel sides, add the parallel sides, that's your a plus b, and then multiply by half of the height. Now let's illustrate it on this one here. So here the parallel sides are these two. So the first step would be we would sum these two parallel sides, we, we would add them up and then we need to multiply it by half of the height. Now what is the height here? Well, the height, remember, is the perpendicular distance from one of the parallel sides to the other. And by perpendicular we mean at 90 degrees. So it's this height there. So we would add the parallel sides and then multiply by half of the height. Now, it is worth mentioning that sometimes you will see an alternative form of this formula. An alternative form that you may see in some textbooks is something like this, half of the height, h over 2, multiplied by sum of the two parallel sides, a plus b. This form is exactly the same as this. It is just an alternative form through a bit of algebraic through a bit of algebraic manipulation. 
how do we know these two forms are exactly the same? Well, as I taught you, the order of multiplication does not matter. So the sum of a plus b multiplied by half the height is exactly the same as half the height times a plus b. Now to give you an example, think about some numbers. 2 times 3 is exactly the same as 3 times 2. The order of multiplication does not matter. You get the same result. So here, a plus b times half the height is the same as half the height times a plus b. You'll also notice that there is not a multiplication sign here. The reason being, in algebra, brackets means multiply. So we do not need to give a multiplication sign here because the brackets by themselves mean we are multiplying. Another form that you may see is something like this, the height multiplied by some of the parallel sides divided by all over 2. Once again, this form is exactly the same as the other two forms. They are all actually identical. It is just through a bit of algebraic manipulation we can come to this form, but they are all the same. Now last but not least, another form that you may see is something like this, half of half times the height multiplied by a plus b. Once again, this form is exactly the same as all of the other forms. Why? Well, multiplying by a half is exactly the same as dividing by 2. So they're all absolutely identical and you can use any one of these formulas to work out the area of a trapezium. You'll get exactly the same answer. Now let's use the formula here to work out the area of these trapeziums. So let's start off with this one. Now you can see here that the parallel sides are equal to 12 centimeters and 18 centimeters. So the first thing I need to do according to the formula is add the parallel sides. So the sum of the parallel sides is 12 plus 18. And then I need to multiply the sum of the parallel sides by half of the height. What is the height of this trapezium? Well, the height of this trapezium is 10 centimetres. So I need to multiply it by half of the height, half of 10. Now, if we simplify this, 12 plus 18 is 30. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 30 times 5 is equal to 150 centimetre squared. Now, if we do the next one here, once again, the first thing we need to do, we need to add the parallel sides. What are the parallel sides? It's just 10 millimetres over here and 20 millimetres over there. So we need to add these two sides first. So the sum of the parallel sides, so 10 plus 20, and we need to multiply the sum of the parallel sides by half of the height. Now, what is the height in this trapezium? What is the height? And what do we mean by the height of the trapezium? Well, what we mean by the height, h, we mean that it is the perpendicular distance from one side of the parallel line to the other. It's the perpendicular distance from one side of the parallel line to the other. And by perpendicular, we mean at 90 degrees. So it's the distance from one side of the parallel line to the other at 90 degrees. So as you can see, it's this distance across. Now clearly, the perpendicular distance from one side to the other here is clearly 5 millimetres. So we multiply the, the 5 millimetres as the, we use the 5 millimetres as the height. So here, we need to multiply the sum 10 plus 20 by half of the height. So half of the height is 5 over 2. Now let's simplify this. 10 plus 20 is 30. And 
half of 5, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Now what's 30 times 2.5? Well, 30 times 2 is 60. 30 times 0 0.5 is just half of 30, which is 15. 60 at 15 is 75. So the area here is 75 millimeters squared. Now let's do the last one, this one here. Well, once again, the first thing we need to do, we need to add the parallel sides. So the sum of the parallel sides here is just 3 plus 5. And I mean to multiply the sum of the parallel sides by half of the height. Now, what is the height here? Once again, the height is the perpendicular distance from one parallel side to the other. Clearly, the perpendicular distance here the distance at 90 degrees is 2 meters. So we multiply my sum here by half of the height. So the height is 2, half of that we divide by 2. So let's simplify this. 3 plus 5 is 8. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 8 is just 8 meters squared. So the area of this trapezium is just 8 meters squared. Okay, so let's do this question now. A trapezium has an area of 32 centimeters squared and the sum of the parallel sides is equal to 8 centimeters. What is the height of this trapezium? Now, we know that the area of a trapezium, the formula is that it's the sum of the parallel sides multiplied by half of the height. Now, they are telling us here that the area of this trapezium is 32 centimeter squared. So what I can do here is, in the formula here, I can replace this, the area, by 32 centimeter squared. So the area here will be replaced by 32 centimeter squared. So this is 32. And then they tell us here that the sum of the parallel sides is equal to 8. The sum of the parallel sides is equal to 8. Now, what is the sum of the parallel sides? Well, the sum of the parallel sides is just this quantity here. So they are telling us that this sum here is equal to 8 centimeters, so I can replace this sum by 8. So here, this will become 8. The height is unknown, so the h stays the same. So we just write that down, h over 2. That part stays the same. Now the question is, what is the height of this trapezium? So we, ha we are trying to work out the height, the h. Now you can see here that this can be simplified. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So you are left with 32 is equal to 4 times h. Now you can clearly see here that if, if 4h is equal to 32, then h is equal to 8. 32 divided by 4 is equal to h. 32 divided by 4 is 8. So your height, h, is equal to 8 centimetres. So the height of this trapezium is 8 centimetres.